Hey guys, listen, I get it. It is really hard to get good information out there. And I know there are so many of you who are searching for the right information about how to reverse disease in yourself, whether you have autoimmune disease or you have cancer or you have heart disease. And there is just so much bad information out there. Um, I just saw another client who was doing bone broth and putting egg yolks in their green smoothie because they were told by people who do the GAPS diet that they have to have that stuff in order to heal. And what happened? She got worse. She got worse. And that's what's happening. I have all these people showing up to me who are either paleo or on GAPS diet or all these things where they're eating animal products and being told that that's going to reverse their disease. Well, let me set this straight for you guys. I'm going to show you some science in a moment about why that is completely backwards. Okay. Because just because there are some people who feel a little better when they go on those diets doesn't mean everything in the diet was helping them. That's like saying that someone who smokes who didn't get cancer, it's because they smoked. No, it's because of other things, other factors going on. The smoking didn't help. <laughs> they probably would have been better off without it. So, so what you really need to look at is the actual science, okay? So this person I was talking to, she's trying so hard to heal and she's looking up and researching and she's getting the wrong information. And so she asked me, how do I know that you have the right information? I was like, because I have science on my side. So I'm going to show you something that I showed her that I actually use when I teach doctors and hospitals about how to create a true anti-inflammatory diet. And it'll put an end to this idea that there's any possible way that eating eggs and egg yolks and meat or bone broth is doing anything but making you worse, okay? So I hope you guys are ready, and I'm sorry I'm pumped up, but I can't stand this because there's millions of people out there who are suffering right now, and they're getting fed, literally fed the wrong information, okay? So I'm going to show you my computer right now, and forgive me if uh, my phone's right there. I'm going to turn my screen around. Okay. All right. Now, don't be scared of the science here. Um, I'm going to show you, this is something called the omega-6 pathway, okay? So, every time you eat oils, besides olive oil, processed foods, chicken, egg, beef, fish, duck, any animal product, you are supplying arachidonic acid to your body, okay? What does that do? Arachidonic acid, when you've got this in your body, it accelerates the conversion of these products, okay? So it increases the activity of an enzyme called 5 blocks. It increases the activity of COX-1. It increases the, uh, the activity of COX-2. I'll tell you why that matters in a second. When it does that, it also incre uh, increases the activity of leukotriene B4, thromboxane E2, and prostaglandin E2. All right, here's what that means in plain English. When you have too much cut 5 locks, for example, because you've had too much arachidonic acid from eggs and meat, you have more cancer growth, more cancer invasion, more cancer metastasis, all right? Which means you have more chronic inflammation, You've got more destruction of healthy tissue, more arthritis, edema, asthma, heart attacks, pain, inflammatory bowel disease. There's more, but I ran out of room on the screen, okay, guys? When you have too much COX-1, you make blood clots, and you have heart attacks and strokes. When you have too much COX-2, you have more blood supply to cancer cells, which makes cancer grow more, and you've got more cancer, chronic inflammation, pain, irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel disease, okay? Let me show this to you in another way. This is what happens when you eat animal products, okay? Let me show you in another way. This, my friends, is the omega-6 pathway and the omega-3 pathway, okay? The one on the left, this is the pathway that happens when you eat vegetable oils, land animal fats and processed foods, meat, eggs, and seafood, okay? They all create arachidonic acid, which I just showed you, which creates inflammation disease, okay? This pathway on the right, Flax and chia seeds lead to ALA, which leads down to EPA and DHA, which create anti-inflammatory pathway. Now, you might have been told, oh, you can't convert flax and chia seeds into enough omega-3s. You want to know why? Here's some more really good science, guys. These guys use the same enzyme. And guess what? This enzyme prefers that pathway. So if you're eating flax and chia seeds, but you're also eating land animals, processed foods and vegetable oils, you're gonna preferentially create more inflammation and you're not gonna convert your ALA. But if you eliminate this stuff, boom, that enzyme preferentially just converts you into a nice, beautiful anti-inflammatory pathway. This is how I hack into people's immune systems and get them the most rapid healing that anyone on the planet has ever seen. This is real science, people, okay? So if you eliminate the inflammatory foods, okay, if you eliminate the vegetable oils, the land animals, I don't care if they're a factory farmed or they're grazing out in somewhere, same, same process, all right? You eliminate the meat and eggs and seafood, you will stop creating all this inflammation, okay? And here's the cool thing, when you create EPA and DHA, it blocks the conversion of arachidonic acid into more inflammation. 
This is the most beautiful science here. And literally when I teach this to doctors, I can hear their pens and their jaws hit the floor because the only thing we're ever taught in medical school is how to use drugs to stop this, but not the fact that you can just stop eating the foods that fuel it, okay? So if anybody, if anybody tells you that you need to eat meat or eggs to heal yourself from autoimmune disease, I want you to run the other way because they have no idea what they're talking about, okay? All right, guys, so listen, I'm telling you, if someone says eat eggs or butter or animal products and you will heal autoimmune disease, run, <laughs> run the other way. They don't understand what they're talking about. They don't understand the science of what they're doing. Now, I'm, I'm sorry I'm so pumped up, guys. I just, you know, I've dedicated my life and my practice to helping people heal. There are millions of people out there right now suffering from lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and scleroderma and Sjogren's and heart disease and cancer. And some of them are actively searching on how to use food to naturally heal. And they are being told the wrong thing. And that is their life. Okay. So I love you guys. I want you guys to live amazing, blissful, healthy lives. I hope that helps you dispel some of the questions you have or some of the doubts you have over whether or not plant-based eating is the way to live and the way to heal. I promise you, if you follow what I teach you, you will live a healthier, happier life, and that's all I want for you guys. I love you guys. I hope that helps. I'm going to do some deep breathing exercises. I'll see you guys.